Yeah, we might need to fiddle with the audio levels. I'm not sure how loud PT is. Oh boy, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. What we need to do first is delete the save data. Because I do not think that is how the game should be beginning. There we go. Yeah, we would just be at the end of the demo. Texas with the 74 and the 74 in a row as well. Thank you. <clears throat> so we start up with the halo of the sun here. The three circles. This is our first hint that this is indeed a Silent Hill related project. Uh, of course, this was all done under a fake studio name. They didn't want anyone to know what this project really was. Um, but they have little hints throughout that you are playing something Silent Hill related. This loading screen is one of those hints. The three little circles from the, the Halo of the Sun. I'm assuming that's what it's supposed to be anyway. <clears throat> yeah, we start off here. We'll choose our subtitles. Can I zoom into the menu here? No, I think I have to do that later on. Um, oh, shit. Actually, I never tested if this microphone works. Hopefully it does. Uh, we'll test that once we get in. We need a microphone to finish this. You have to speak to the game at the end. Um, okay. 7780S Studio. Watch out. The gap in the door. It's a separate reality. The only me is me. Are you sure the only you is you? We start with this. You can see someone behind the door there if you look carefully. You might have been able to see like a white texture there if you were paying attention, if you were staring at the crack in the door. You can see Lisa there right at the very beginning. <laughs> she's gone now, but during that opening scene, she's there. And we start off with this image of the cockroach, or two cockroaches, two mating cockroaches, I think. Um, the 7780S studio thing is apparently a reference to the area in Japan that they named Silent Hill after. I think it's called Shizuoka. Or something like that. Maybe someone in chat can correct me. I think it's Shizuoka or something like that. And the 7780 is apparently um, a reference to the size of the area in square meters. And the S at the end, it says 7780S. The S is for the plural, the hills. The S at the end of Silent Hill. So the 7780 represents Silent Hill, and the S is Silent Hills. Shizuoka, yeah, yeah, I think that's it.
So again, another obscure little hint, a little tie-in to the fact that this is Silent Hill. And if we go over here, we can see all these markings on the wall. Four, four markings and then a line through the four. And if you listen carefully here, you'll be able to hear someone draw out the lines. Ooh, look at that. When, you, when, you're, when you're in here the first time, I think it's way darker than it is later on. See, if we go look at, look at that, just that black abyss back there in the corner of the room. There's a table, but you can only see, like, the corner of the table. When we come back here later on, you'll, uh, you'll be able to see the table in full, and you'll be able to see what's on the table. But right now, it's just this black abyss. Oh, I'm turning up the volume. Do you hear that? One, two, three, four. And then the longer drawing as he puts the line through the four. Now he's slower with it. Now the final one. Yeah. <laughs> That's so sick. I, I, I forgot about that. There being like that he did. He does it at different speeds. Sometimes it's fast, sometimes it's slow. If your volume is low, you might not even be able to hear this. But you can hear someone drawing these out. Drawing the lines. One. Two. Three, four. Uh, you guys can tell me if I need to turn up the volume a bit. I didn't pay attention to this at all, I don't think, since until my last playthrough, Dave. And then I, uh, I, I noticed, wait a second, you can actually hear the person drawing all the lines here. <laughs> I just wanted to listen to the, the buzzing light. father went to the trunk of his car, retrieved the rifle, and shot his wife as she was cleaning up the kitchen after lunch. When his 10-year-old son came to investigate the commotion, the father shot him too. His six-year-old daughter had the good sense to hide in the bathroom, but reports suggest he lured her out by telling her it was just a game. The girl was found shot once in the chest from point-blank range. The mother, who he shot in the stomach, was pregnant at the time. Police arriving on scene after neighbors called 9-11 found the father in his car listening to the radio. Several days before the murders, neighbors say they heard the father repeating a sequence of numbers in a loud voice. They said it was like he was chanting some strange spell.
There was another family shot to death in the same state last month, and in December last year, a man used a rifle and meat cleaver to murder his entire family. In each case, the perpetrators were fathers. State police say this string of domestic homicides appears unrelated, though it could be part of a larger trend such as employment, child care, and other social issues facing the average family. So there we have the, uh, the first radio broadcast. You need to really walk up quickly if you want to hear the whole thing there. I almost forgot. <laughs> we didn't get to hear the very start of it so clearly, but we got most of it. Um, a part of this, I think, is referencing a film God Told Me To, which we actually watched for movie nights one night uh, on Discord. The, that, that whole part about luring the, uh, the child by telling them it was just a game. And some of these models still look uh, really nice. Look at that banana, man. Look how good that... Look how realistic that banana looks. The ash and the cigarettes. They really wanted this to feel like an indie horror. And uh, Kojima said that they toned the visuals down a lot because they didn't want it to look like a triple a game um but i don't think anyone really thought that way when they played it because it still looked really good you know <laughs> it's done it still looks pretty impressive now but yeah they wanted this to feel very much like uh just like another sort of indie horror it definitely has that feel about it, you know, just the the first person style, which you see a lot. And you can't really do much in this apart from walk around and look at stuff, zoom in to interact with stuff. George with the 62 as well. Thank you. go back here we see pictures pills i really love how the movement feels in this it's so weighty like you can the way the camera slightly wobbles with each footstep and how you can really feel each step they play with that later on as well when we when our footsteps suddenly start to change but yeah, I feel like it really adds to the mood of this thing, just like the heaviness of it. Uh, this guy here is Ludwig Forsell's father. The, uh, the composer that, that's been uh, working with Kojima. For his last couple of games. This is his father. And you can kind of tell. <laughs> he looks quite a bit like Ludwig. And uh, I wonder if, that, if that's his mother as well. Clock stays here at 23.59. My voice, can you hear it? This sign, can you read it? I'll wait forever if you'll just come to me. 
Little Dragon with the 17. Thank you. Uh, Twitch is messing up. I'm not dropping any frames on my end. Yeah, seems like a Twitch issue. Okay, well we pass through into the second loop. Ah, could you hear the clock tick on the first loop? Maybe I just didn't stop here. Love all the little sounds. Yeah, I don't think... Uh, I think that's something that people misinterpreted from Lance McDonald's post way back about Lisa being behind you all the time. I don't think she is. I think I think it's just for that one loop later on. You know, because uh, later on we'll be able to see her her shadow behind us. How long is PT? It really depends. Uh, but it'll, I don't know. I don't know how long it'll take me. Like an hour and a half, two hours, something like that. I, I don't really know. So this picture here, you can see that it's missing. You're missing like three quarters of it. We can find all of those pieces and put it back together. This time the door is locked. There's that cockroach again. The two cockroaches, the mating cockroaches. R3. Yeah, so here's your tutorial <laughs> for the only thing you can really do. Zoom in. My voice, can you hear it? This sign, can you read it? I'll wait forever if you'll just come to me. So throughout this area, we can find some pieces. I wonder can we even find them this early? I think we can. We just have to zoom in to look to find them. Uh, maybe we can't on this loop.
Damn, I don't remember being able to hear all those sounds in there, like that creaking. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> We've got different cockroaches appearing now. We cool? sound just does so much to carry this experience. The visuals are very effective as well, the lighting, but the sound, and I guess just the gradual escalation of it, this way things just slowly change and develop from each, with each loop. Roaches pouring out of the bathroom. Closer look. Uh, the audio is crackling. Now it's fixed. It, it's Twitch fucking up, man. I think it... It's not fixed. Let me refresh the card. Ha <laughs> ha 
Uh, if it's not fixed now, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Is it okay now? Are we getting any crackling? The clock isn't ticking anymore, you're right, yeah. The symbol isn't moving either. <laughs> I love this uh, scene here. It's completely still. You're beautifully silhouetted there, Lisa. Like she's still there. She's disappeared, but the sound is still coming from where she was standing. And then the light comes back, but not here. A new light source. I don't think this light has turned on at all since now. Let's see if we can find any of the pieces. There's one. Undurchnebel. So, that was German, I do believe. And let me see if I can tell you what it says. Maybe some German in chat caught it. Uh, it said Undurch Nebel Schwindenden Bewusst 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 Shines which translates as and though the mist of fading consciousness that's what that says um, maybe, maybe a German in chat can give us a more accurate translation, but I think that's roughly what it says. And as we collect all these photograph pieces, we'll be getting more bits of text in various languages. And this all, this is all a big puzzle. The idea was that people would have to come together to solve this puzzle online. This was designed to be solved online. Um, 
with people coming together. But unfortunately, when this was released, someone beat this game by mistake without solving the puzzle. <laughs> Which is wild, because they had to have had their microphone plugged in as well to, to solve it. At the very end of this teaser, you have to plug in a microphone and speak a specific word to the game. And you deduce what you're supposed to say by solving the puzzle. But yeah, someone solved it uh, by accident on the on its day of release without even knowing how they solved it I don't th I don't think they even realized it was you know that they had to speak to the game they just had their microphone plugged in they weren't even trying to speak to the game <laughs> But uh, still cool, you know, because then people actually did try and solve it properly and try and figure out the solution. Let's go back here. But yeah, it's a shame it was uh, it was solved so quickly by accident. So we've given her a piece of her head back. I think we should be able to find another piece here. Yeah. Poil suo. That is Italian, I think. Um, Poil suo indique scivolo sulla mia mano. And this in English. This translates to, then his finger slipped on my hand. So there we have two pieces. Now we're finally going into the bathroom. Probably another indication that this is Silent Hill, you know, the, the radio and now the flashlight. Now we can see our reflection, but we cannot see our face. But that is Norman Reedus. Norman Reedus's face is there. You just can't really make it out. Oh, and what? What is? What is this? Oh. Someone's approaching the door. 
Yeah, so the baby here is very eraser head. A lot like the baby in Lynch's film Eraser Head. Although it also kind of reminds me of the man made chickens from Eraser Head as well. With the little legs and the body. Look at his twitching little boobs. <laughs> oh. I thought you had to zoom in on the door handle and the mirror to open it. Do you just have to look at it? Or maybe... All right, okay. Yeah, you just have to look at it. I think you just have to wait for the static to die down and then you can look at it. This is the first appearance of the funky fetus, the prototype version. we look here as well, we can see a hole in the wall. Some of this stuff might make you think of Silent Hill 4. If there was one Silent Hill game... If there's, if there's one Silent Hill game that this reminds me of, it's 4. With the, uh, you know, the first person room segments. And I guess given that this is a ghost story as well. Silent Hill 4 combining like a detective murder mystery with a ghost story feels kind of similar to what we have here. Learning about this string of murders and domestic murders at home. And this ghost creature. It's weird. What, what are we supposed to be looking at there in the hole? See, look how you can kind of see, like, the shine of something, like the glint of something. But what is that? Is it supposed to look like an eye or something? Eventually, we will be able to look through this hole from the opposite side. From here. Right now, we can't. Reflection of the torch on something? Yeah, it just looks kind of weird. Hey, you can kind of see Redis there a bit when you're, if you keep moving. There's another piece. Non and French, I think. Uh, shit, I don't know what that was, actually. I think that was Italian again.
Did that say non me musu? Yeah, I think it did. So what I, I think that was Italian again, and it translates to I didn't move anymore during the waiting. Which I don't think is a completely accurate translation because that still sounds kind of janky. Uh, hold on. I'm going to post it in chat and I'll see if anyone can give a more accurate translation. I don't think there is any French in this. Yeah, I think the German was just like one half of a whole. And I think that's what you get for all of these. Like we got one half of the German and we'll find the other half uh, somewhere else. This is the first half of the Italian. We found the second half before. This is the first part of the Italian. The, the, the one we got before this uh, says, Then his finger slipped on my hand. And this is before that. I didn't move any more during the waiting. Then his finger slipped on my hand. But I think you could probably get a more accurate translation. I didn't move in the during the inert waiting. Yeah, this is a this is a pretty big hint for the final puzzle and what you need to do. Because during the final puzzle, there's a moment where you just need to stand completely still. Again, crazy that someone just solved this by accident on the first day, considering wh what you need to do. <laughs> um, and that you need a microphone to beat the game. Oh, radio again. took place while the family was gathered at home on a Sunday afternoon. Don't touch that dial now. We're just getting started. Retrieved the rifle and shot his wife as he was cleaning up the seat. You can't trust the tap water. So his son came to investigate the commotion. The father shot him too. His six-year-old daughter had the good sense to hide in the bathroom, but reports suggest he lured her out by telling her it was just a game. The girl was found shot once in the chest from point-blank range. The mother, who was shot in the stomach, was 204863. Seen after neighbors called 911, found the father in his car listening to the radio. Several days before the murder, he was behind you. I said, look behind you. <laughs> Another family shot to death in the same state last month, and in December last year, a man used a rifle and meat cleaver to murder his entire family. In each case, the perpetrators were fathers. State police say this string of domestic homicides appears under 204863. Child care and other social issues facing the average family. So, if we go back here now, listen to my footsteps. Notice something that wasn't there before? What's that knock? With every few steps, we get a knock. And if you look here... <laughs> There's Lisa. 
So during this loop of the hallway, we seem to be possessed by Lisa. That's what it feels like. Maybe the idea is that she is just behind us, but it feels like it feels like you are Lisa in a way during this. The way you hear her footstep align exactly with your footstep. Yeah, during this loop, she is actually like her her character model is behind us at all times. <laughs> But it feels like we're, we kind of are her during this. And then we will separate ourselves from her later when we do, uh, when we interact with something. But I don't think Lisa has a peg leg though, does she? It's, it's her, I think the, the sound is supposed to be her heel. She's wearing one high heel, right? One foot is bare and the other foot is wearing a high heel. I think. I want to see her. But she's always behind me. Yeah, listen to the footsteps. Your footsteps don't normally sound like that. And I think that wooden knock is supposed to be like her heel. Who is Lisa? That's the thing. Is, is Lisa the person being spoken about in the radio broadcast? Or is Lisa just another part of this string of murders? Um, considering what they say about a child being lured by the father, I'm thinking that this, that, that the radio broadcast doesn't relate to this household. Because the only child we see in relation to this family is the small baby. The baby in the, in the sink. Um, and you'll notice when you see Lisa that she has a pregnant belly. And we don't see pictures of any other children that they have. So you don't really get the indication that they have any other child other than this baby. Um, and it seemed as though she was killed while she was pregnant. And what we see in the sink is like some representation of the, of the unborn child. And how Norman Reedus relates to all of this? I don't think he does, really. Gouge it out. Oh yeah, I forgot. You can, you can do more than just zoom in. Because here we have to press the blue X button. On our controller. And when you do that, Lisa immediately leaves your body. She's gone. And our footsteps are back to normal. Uh, you'll also notice that Lisa is missing an eye. So Lisa it would seem, is supposed to be this woman here. The missing eye might also be another little hint that it's a Kojima game, with many of Kojima's protagonists having missing eyes of some sort. 
the missing right eye like Big Boss. Lisa's design is really great. The, uh, I just love all the little touches. The vomit, the, the stains running down her chin, the pregnant belly, how tall she is, and just how she, just her whole posture. The one leg seeming bigger than the other with the high heel. It's a really cool ghost design. So yeah, now our footsteps are back to normal. No more knocking. Kind of reminds me of some of the scenery in Death Stranding. And we know that Kojima went to Iceland doing research for his next project while he was at Konami. Always makes me wonder if that was going to be for Silent Hill. Zuh. Most of these pictures are like heavily edited, so you can't really make them out. That looks, that again, that looks like it could be some kind of Icelandic scenery, like a beach or something. Okay, let's move on to the next loop. Uh, how is the picture doing? How many do we have to find now? A few. I can't remember where they all are. <laughs> remember the one there? Is there another one here somewhere? All the pills. I think there's another one stuck up on the wall somewhere here. Hey, there's one. Glaubete ich ein. Okay, that's definitely more German. So now we have the second part of the German, which apparently is translated to, I believed I heard a phone. And through the mist of fading consciousness, I believed I heard a phone. That would be including the first piece of German that we got. Uh, let me just post this in chat for people that want to see it. Some Germans in chat, perhaps. There's the first part. And this is the one that we just found.
Okay, next loop. Forgive me, Lisa. There's a monster inside of me. Sounds like trauma! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Handprints? In, uh, in, in that Silent Hills teaser that they released as well, in that trailer, you know the one that had Chico, Chico's head as a bowling ball? Uh, in that same trailer, there's this big hand monster. As well, it's just another thing that, again, makes me think of Death Stranding. Maybe certain ideas that carried over to that. But yeah, in that trailer with the Chico bowling ball, there's also like a giant hand monster. Who else is in this house with you, Lisa? Are you Lisa? I think that's Lisa. Where were the other footsteps coming from? Cool? Jesus Christ. I think that was just a popping in texture. <laughs> or just a weird flash of the light. Wait a second. I think that's the that's the non-inert one. So what did I get the last time when I thought I got that one? That's the only one that has the word non in it though. I think. I didn't move any more during the waiting. Maybe you can get them. I don't think you can get any repeated ones. Maybe someone can go back and check. You can get the same ones again and again. It is just, it's, it's RNG. Okay. I think I remember wondering about this last time when I got when I got two of the same. That's fucking brutal, man. Uh, oh yeah, there's one in the pause menu. So if you go into the pause menu and zoom in. <laughs> there it is. But hey, do we... Poisuo, and again, we're getting the same Italian one. We've gotten, the, we've gotten four Italian ones this time. We got the... I didn't move anymore during the waiting twice, and now we've... Uh, gotten the then his finger slipped on my hand twice
It's, it's classic Kojima, the one in the menu, yeah. Uh, oh, hello. I can hear them calling to me from... Can we go into the next loop? We can. So right now, I think we'll just... Oh. Oh, I see. I thought they were... I thought the hallway was just going to repeat there until I solved the next puzzle. <laughs> the low voice underneath changes the dialogue slightly. The first broadcast says he hung himself with a garden hose, and the second one says umbilical cord. Sympathies. No one up there? Gouge it out. Doing okay there? <laughs> oh shit. We good? <laughs> you can tell if where she is just because based off the sound. You could tell she was in the bathroom because the voice was coming from the bathroom. But you can't see her, just in the mirror. <laughs> Where is she now? When this sound 
Oh God. The sound again. Jesus! That got me that time. I, I, I was ready for it. And it, it got me because I, I thought she only did it when you turned around. I was just walking straight and she still popped up in my face. <laughs> you know, usually you get it when you turn around. That's usually the trigger. Yeah, it seems like she unzips your pants. You hear some sound of unzipping when she knocks you over. Um, But yeah, during that sequence... She can spawn in a number of different places. If she spawns in the bathroom, she can never, quote unquote, possess you or whatever happens there. When I saw her in the hallway, she ran into me and then I was possessed. And then my foot, you know, my footsteps changed again and where she was like, where she's right behind you at all times. And then you're, then it's only a matter of time before she kills you once that happens. But uh, if she spawns in the bathroom, she she can never possess you. And it's random where she spawns. You know, first first we heard the, the weird static and then she was in the bathroom and then she disappeared from the bathroom. And then a few seconds later, the static started up again. And that's your cue that Lisa is appearing again. And uh, she could have spawned in the bathroom again. But she didn't. And now we're back in the starting room. And now we can actually see this table properly. It's not just a black void. I walked. I could do nothing but walk. And then... I saw me walking in front of myself, but it wasn't really me. Watch out. The gap in the door. It's a separate reality. The only me is me. Are you sure the only you is you? <laughs> and now we get to see this talking bag here. Full of some kind of nasty juice, some kind of... I feel like it's full of dead cockroaches or something. I don't know. And again, we can hear this guy drawing out the markings if we listen carefully. <laughs> I really like that. Just it's really cool how you can hear the the slightly longer scratch through the you know the final line that he draws through the the four marks. Okay, now we're back again. <clears throat> Can 
we can we leave? Yeah, now this hallway will just keep repeating until we solve the puzzle here. Oh my god, man. That's... Hello! So now we have to bring the letters from there over here. And before Lisa gets to us. <laughs> so there we go demonic Swedish radio broadcast everything is spookier when it's in Swedish um, let me just see if I can find the translation for this hold on a second uh, I thought I had it here but I don't Uh, oh wait, here we go, here we go. So, the translation for this, for any non-Swedes in the chat. Close your eyes. Let your ears listen to the radio. Do you hear my voice? Can you hear your own soul's scream? Let us choose. My voice that tells the future. Or your tortured mind. Well, what do you choose? You can choose. Your life. Your future. Wise as you are, you might already have discovered it. Yes, the radio drama from 75 years ago was true. They are here on our earth. And they monitor and see all. Don't trust anyone. Don't trust the police. 
they are already controlled by them. That's the way it has been for 75 years now. Only our best will prevail. You have a right, a right to become one of us. So, welcome to our world. Very soon, the gates to a new dimension will open. Two, zero, four, eight, six, three. Two, zero, four, eight, six, three. <laughs> Okay, so of course the 204863 is a reference to Kojima and Kojima's uh, birthday. Which you also have in uh, other games like Peace Walker, the truck in Peace Walker. If you've played Peace Walker, maybe when you, when you get this info you'll be like, Hey, I recognize those numbers. Um... The radio broadcast they're referencing is, of course, the War of the Worlds broadcast. Um, some of this stuff might just remind you of Kojima, generally speaking. This, uh, you know, alluding to this grand conspiracy, tying it into the, into the War of the Worlds. The uh, the sounds at the end of the broadcast really remind me of like classic UFO sounds as well, you know, from like old UFO movies. The whole thing about choosing your life, your future as well. Very uh, Kojima. Let us choose my voice that tells the future. All this, there's so, there are many different things that that allude to voices and hearing voices. I think they're really trying to get you into that idea, you know, that you have to speak to the game. Like it's the, it's the it's the final part of the puzzle where you have to plug in your mic and talk to the game. So having all of these different notes allude to you know hearing voices and whatnot. That's probably what they're trying to hammer in there as well, in like an, in an in an obscure kind of way. Even the phone here and the little hello beside the phone. Close your eyes, let your ears listen to the radio. Do you hear my voice? Can you hear your own soul's scream? Let us choose. My voice that tells the future, or your tortured mind. Well, what do you choose? You can choose. Your life, your future. Wise as you are, you might already have discovered it. Yes, the radio drama from 75 years ago was true. They are here on our earth and they monitor and see all. Don't trust anyone. Don't trust the police. They're already controlled by them. That's the way it has been for 75 years now. Only our best will prevail. I really like that line. <laughs> you have a right, a right to become one of us. So welcome to our world. Very soon, the gates to a new dimension will open. 204863. 204863. Okay, next loop. I think we're at the very end now. Oh wait, no, we're not. We're not.
Where's the baby? Oh no. I think I might have missed the scene. Oh wait, no, I didn't. I didn't. The baby is never here. So what you have to do here is... Oh. Oh, you can't even do it at every bathroom, huh? Here we go. You'll notice a fallen picture where we can now look through the hole into the bathroom. But it seems like you can't do it at every bathroom. I forgot about that. Oh! Right, yeah. Sometimes they'll be closed. Sometimes they won't. Only for the closed ones. No turning back now. <laughs> I like how now it's becoming like, you know, they, they were speaking before about this string of murders and that the perpetrator sounded like they were chanting some spell. Like they're being possessed by something or that there's some other force at work convincing all these fathers to commit these murders. Now it's seeming like it's the radio itself. <laughs> it's this news broadcaster that's telling them to commit these murders. It's coming from inside the house. You got fired so you drowned your sorrows in booze. She had to get a part-time job working a grocery store cash register. Only reason she could earn a wage at all is the manager liked how she looked in a skirt. You remember, right? <laughs> exactly ten months back. I love this. I think the baby is also voiced by the guy who does the radio broadcast. It's just like uh, at a lower pitch again. Now we're back to normal speed. And now a return to normality. This part feels very silent pill to me. Like things escalating and getting so crazy and then bam, suddenly it's like a reset. And it's back to at least some sense of normalcy. Normality. Doesn't last for long though.
Ooh, wow, it's pitch black here. Uh, have we collected all the pieces? We have. My voice, can you read it? This sign. My voice, can you hear it? This sign, can you read it? I'll wait forever if you just come to me. So, we did not get to hear, uh, we did not get to see all of the hints. Because it is random. Sometimes you'll get repeated hints. You have to do multiple playthroughs, I think, generally, if you want to get all the hints. Or you just need really good luck. Um, I don't think we got any of the Portuguese hints. You can get Portuguese hints on the photograph fragments. And uh, this is what they say. I whispered your name, but the wind of the night took your voice away. Uh, the Italian translates to, I didn't move anymore during the waiting. Then his finger slipped on my hand. You can also get Japanese fragments, which say it was a cold hand. Body was trembling. And English hints that say, never moving a step. His hand in mine. I waited for it to pass. The German again, and through the mist of fading consciousness, I believed I heard a phone. So, the idea here is that you have to wait. When, when things get spooky, when Lisa is appearing, or, you know, when she's about to appear, when you hear all that static, the idea is that you're supposed to wait in silence. Don't move. Stay still. Um, let me just see here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So now, oh, Zero four eight six three two 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 zero four eight six three <laughs> and then the game crashes. But of course, it is a deliberate crash. And you can get a few different crash screens there. You don't always get that screen. And again, they all come up in a variety of different languages with a variety of different messages. Um, I will try and find the crash screen that we got. I think we got a German one, right? I think we got a German one. And let's see if I can find what it says. And if you want to get all the other crash screens, I think you need to delete your save and start the whole thing again. Um, we got the gray one, right? Was that, did we get a gray one? Hold on. 
No. Damn, I'm seeing... A, I, I have a list of the crash screens here, but I'm not seeing any that actually looks like the one that we got. I think maybe we got the development halted due to inexplicable bug one, but it was written in German. Did anyone catch what that said in German? I'm not sure if you can get that one in German. It, it was the bug one, was it? But it was written in German? I didn't even know you could get that one in German. Oh, was there English there as well? I was trying to see if there was any English written on it, but I didn't notice. And it, it was the inexplicable bug one, was it? It was just upside down. Okay, so... Um, you can get another crash screen that says, This game is purely fictitious. It cannot harm you in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I think all of these are... I think all of the crash screens are in multiple languages. I think they all come up with, with, uh, with all the different languages. Uh, and then you have another one that says, Fix this damn bug. Cause equals question mark before release. Uh, then development halted due to inexplicable bug, which I think is the one that we got. It was just turned upside down. Um, then you can get another crazy one... Uh, that, that's a red screen. Which says, I'm heading there now. And I think that's all it says. I'm heading there now in a load of different languages. Uh, then, you get a, then you can get a yellow one which says, I'll call later. Um, and then there's another one. This is probably the most mysterious sounding. This one says, Knowing you, I was sure you'd notice this game and play it. I will never, can never, forget that day 20 years ago. I have something to tell you. Contact me. J. It's signed J. And it is the word, it is the name Jack that you have to speak into the microphone to get a response. Um, now, let me just see. There is also like an overt reference to the name Jack in this as well, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, from the radio. From the radio, you can find... How do we get other messages from the radio? Can we get other messages now from the radio? Or are these just random things that you get from one of the previous radio broadcasts? But yeah, one of the uh, hidden messages in the radio says, I walked till I stood one pace before Jack. And that's your and that's a hint that you need to walk ten steps. It's like a deck of cards. The the ten before the jack. But I'm not sure if we can hear any of those messages at this point in the game. 
Maybe uh, maybe someone in the chat might know. Hold on. I'm just, uh, I'm trying to find other details. Yeah, so other hidden messages you can hear on the radio are, uh, th this is all dialogue. Uh, we share an instance, we, we share an instant of private darkness. The moments are, the moment our hands overlap. I walked till I stood one, pa one pace before Jack. Heart pounding. Uh, then there's another thing that can you that can come up in Spanish, that says his her, his touch, cold like marble. So much that he was trembling, and then in French, I whispered his name, and the night took the sound of his voice away. Those are all the radio hidden messages. I just forget when we can hear them. Now, hold on. Let me plug in my microphone just to make sure this works. This fucking cursed game. Nice. Nice. Testing. Testing, testing. Okay, we're good. Cool. Uh, can you guys still hear the audio? Yeah, this thing was figured out uh, on, on its day of release. Well, I, it wasn't figured out, but someone finished this game. Uh, on its day of release, just because they had their they had their microphone plugged into their controller, they didn't plug the microphone in because they thought they needed it for the puzzle. It was just there, and they just solved it by complete chance. Um, hold on. Yeah, now the colors change in the hallway, too. Oh, we're... St we're going straight into the sounds. Yeah, I think it was on Twitch as well. It was some, uh... Yeah, I think it was on Twitch. And everyone was confused as to how she solved it. And then, of course, everyone was analyzing exactly what she did to try and figure it out. <laughs> So, yeah, I wonder if is if the footage is still online somewhere. Um 
Yeah, so the Portuguese, I whispered your name, but the wind of the night took your voice away. The Italian, I didn't move any more during the waiting. Then his finger slipped on my hand. It was a cold hand, body was trembling. Never moving a step, his hand in mine, I waited for it to pass. Yeah, so when when the clock hits when the clock hits 12, that's when we have to take our 10 steps before Jack. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's our cue that we did it correctly. The baby laugh. Now I forget what I'm supposed to do. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to call out Jack's name, but I don't think I'm supposed to do it here. Jack. 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 Now you stay still. The controller vibrates.
I love the way the theme fades out there. It's nice. Wow. Great. Can't wait to see how that game turns out. Interesting. Interesting teaser. So there we have it. And now it just starts again. This almost, uh, it's like a mythical piece of game history now, this thing. A game that you can't even uh, download anymore. Not by normal means, anyway. I think it still is possible, even if you haven't downloaded it before. I think you can still get the game somehow. But uh, in some ways, it almost adds to the experience, you know? It's like, uh, really uh, adds to the game feeling like this almost mythical thing or, you know, something like a cursed game. <laughs> the, 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 this mysterious game that you can't even download anymore. Only those chosen few have the ability to play P.T. What even is PT? PT? What was PT? And that's it. Jailbroken PS4? Yeah, you see, you, you do need a jailbroken PS4. But yeah, at least, pay, at least people are still able to get it. Well, at least we have Ascension. It's not all bad. A uh, hold on a second here. I'm just reading through the uh, just the the notes again here. The uh, the hints and the translations and everything. Oh yes, yeah. The uh, the moments the moment our hands overlap. I forgot to explain that. That's a hint that... That's a hint about the clock. The hands of the clock overlapping. That you're supposed to wait until it hits 12. And then after that, you have the message, I walked till I stood one pace before Jack. Then you take the 10 steps. I whispered his name. And then the knight took the sound of his voice away. Yeah, so you, you wait for the 12 o'clock. You take your 10 steps. You hear the baby cry. Then you, then you start speaking Jack's name into the mic. And then you just wait and wait. And that's it. I, I thought I remembered. I, I thought you had to, like, find where the... Where I thought where Lisa was coming from also factored into it. I think it does. And I think maybe we just got lucky. Like, I think you have to be near... Near the disturbance. When you speak the name Jack into the mic. You know, she can spawn in a few different places. She can be in the bathroom. She can be up the other end of the hall. And I think you need to find, you need to, like, when you hear that she's in the bathroom, you need to go to the bathroom or, or around that area and then speak the name. And I guess we just got lucky that we were beside the bathroom when I said the name. <clears throat> Do 
apparently, yeah, like the the other uh, names will register. It doesn't have to be Jack. I think a few different sounds can trigger it. But Jack is is what it is supposed to recognize primarily. Boom. Bam ba da bam ba dum. Uh, I should find out how to consistently trigger all those uh, radio messages, the hidden messages, because I forget when you trigger those. You know, the, the one that says I walked one step before Jack and all of that. Oh, you found the VOD where it was completed for the first time, Crow? Nice, nice. J-Dunk with the five months as well. Thank you. The trailer with Chico. Chico's bowling ball head, yeah. And the, the hand monster. Is Jack the fetus? I don't know. Uh, the voice at the end, again, I think is the guy from the radio broadcast. The guy that you hear throughout the whole thing. He voices the fetus. He voices the radio. The radio news guy. She was streaming direct from PS4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The dialogue suggests that's the fetus's POV. Why? Because he's talking about dad. <laughs> it's he's a pretty intelligent fetus to be able to conjure up all these different thoughts about this father that he never knew. Right, because you get the you get the impression that Lisa died while she was pregnant, right? I wonder how much of this story would have been a part of Silent Hills. I have a feeling this was probably just its own separate thing. Maybe implying certain things about the themes of the game. But I'd say this was, yeah, this was probably just going to be its own little thing. Maybe they would have brought Lisa back in another form or something. There's no point in trying to pick through the dialogue as if it's coherent. Well, there is. There is coherence. So, of course, you can pick through it. There is a pretty discernible story going on throughout the thing as you listen to all the different broadcasts and everything. But uh, it, it probably wasn't going to be a part of whatever the main game was going to be. Yeah, maybe it was, maybe it would have, like, maybe it was going to be like SH4 with third person sections and then other first person sections.
and say it was going to be primarily third person, though. Yeah, I mean, the fetus is intelligent when you talk to it. It's just like, how real is, is this? Is there really a fetus? Kojima hasn't spoken much about it, I don't think, or, you know, what it was going to be. Alright, I guess we'll leave it here for this evening. We did our full Born From A Wish playthrough, our PT playthrough. Uh, tomorrow I think I'll have another uh, little sponsored stream thingy. I might do something before or after. So I'll see you tomorrow for, for something. I'm not sure what my plans are yet. The sponsored segment should just be like two hours, but yeah, we might do something after or do something before and we'll see. Not Hitman. Not Hitman. I won't say yet. Because I'm not sure if I can say, but yeah, another uh, sponsored segment tomorrow evening. All right, guys, we'll leave it there for now. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. And I'll see you all soon. Till next time. Take it easy.